My name is Brandon Johnson. I'm doing this course because it's more practical in theory and I really enjoy the practical side of it. Um, so as you come in, you've just got the bag area, boot area, you throw your know, boots, and you throw your bags up there and then you walk across here, you go to your bag, depending on what level you're on. So you've got level ones, which are usually in here, a majority back here. And then you have level twos that are working in this area here. And it's just basics on level one, getting the gist of it, realizing what you've got to do. And you just walk around. You've got the more advanced things on level two, doing piers and um, all sorts of brickwork like that. You've got cavity walls over there. And then as you walk through here, you've got the apprenticeships course. Um, so they only come in about once a week because they're working for the rest of it, but they just practice on all sorts. So here they are doing a cavity wall over here. This is the start of a cavity wall. It's uh, not finished yet, but that is it. So here is the apprentices. It's not too big because there's not too many of them, but they get bigger every year. And as you just continue to walk through, you've got more level two space here and the level ones are right at the back. Hi, this is Jamie. He's one of our level two students. He's currently doing an assessment job on a cavity wall. And um, we've got 12 hours to finish this wall. That's your, your face work. This is face um, work. For the, like, this is like the front of the house, obviously. And that's where you leave a 100 mil gap for your insulation. So all your insulation goes in there. Keep your house insulated and that's where your block work for it in, in like the interior of the house. Um, and then, yeah, that all obviously gets like rendered or whatever it is, past and whatever. And um, corner, you have to put the wall ties in to tie the two walls together because otherwise they go bendy like that. And um, that's it really. So is this your first year or second year? Uh, second year this is. Okay. So second year. Um, but, what do you like about it? What do you like about the course? Uh, I like being... I don't know, like, I like pointing it up when it's all done and it looks good. I, I like, feel like quite proud of yourself. That's what I enjoy doing. That's the bit I enjoy best. And you're going to go onto a site? Do you want to...? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, hopefully. Go onto the site and get some... This is Brandon, Brandon Johnson, currently doing the assessment with level one and a half brick wall return. What do you plan to do in the future? I uh, plan to get onto level two, possibly think about level three, and then um, just work from there, work on sites, and then for a small company, I'll find one. Um, would you recommend Brooklands? Sorry? Would you recommend Brooklands? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Brooklands, so when they come in and give you a speech at school, they're just friendly, they're just nice, they're always happy to talk about you know, the good things about the course, and there's not really anything bad about the course. Everything's good, everything's exciting. Thank you.
So you can see here, Level 1 Country and Joinery, Group A, currently undertaking their Level 1 Diploma in Country and Joinery. At the moment, the couple of them are doing some nice Christmas gifts for their parents. Um, so some of them are making little flower pot stands. Um, so you can be able to see them marking those out. They put some decorative edges on them. Um, other than that, generally the learners are working on their um, hand joints um, for level one carpentry. Uh, they will start that back in September, and they will go until January. At which point they will start doing their assessment pieces for looking to finish the year. Um, so yes, around the room we've got some uh, dovetail half laps going on, we've got some quarter mitre bridles I believe uh, Awaze is doing one over there, um, and generally the learners are just practicing their hand skills. So what we're learning is we're going to give you four little feet on each side. Make it turn. Normally on site, all this comes with quilt, and we have to do it to just build it ourselves. So, this is one a part of your assessment? Then, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. It's pretty easy. That's so, do, what do you want to do after you leave Brooklyn? Is this your first year or second year? No, it's my fourth year. Fourth year? Yeah, right. yeah, I went um, to Ashford one to do some skills, mother skills course, and came here for level one, did level two, and now it's level three. Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> and what would you do after this? I want to find an apprenticeship so I can learn everything. Like get everything all the knowledge done and then hopefully find a good job. So. Okay, great. Yeah. So I'll learn so it all before. So what do you like about Brooklyn's? The people, the teachers. Yeah. You the like the practical teachers. side? Yeah, the practical side definitely. It's better. I'm not really writing so I'm <laughs> hands on. <laughs> So we're just doing um, a miniature scale roof now, we've got trusses here and there. We've added a ladder here, then we're adding some boards here, which are meant to represent you know, at the ends of the roof, which is mostly plastic now they use. It's quite good to just like, you know, come in, get on the stuff, got like the tools we need, you know, there's plenty of impact drills, plenty of saws, chop saws. Uh, bits of work. Get... And what do you want to do after after Brooklyn's? Pretty much the same thing as him. Uh, get an apprenticeship, learn bits and bobs and move everywhere. Hopefully start doing it as my own business. You know, I'd work when I want to work. Go on holiday when I want to go on holiday and all that. <laughs> um, and also hopefully finish it because, you know, everything keeps closing and that, so let's hope it doesn't close again. Well, good carpenters it. make a lot of money. Mm, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, but it'd be nice to learn if you like bits of possible uh, tiling, maybe a little bit of plumbing, every now and then, just okay. learn some stuff on the job. Yeah. And what, what's over here? What have you been doing? This is stud one. Uh, this is an us, this is an, I think level two, but this is stud one. We had to do this for level two. So you do your stud wall, put all your bits, and then you put in your door lining, and then your door, and you've got to chisel out a little trench where your door hinges. And then you've got to uh, chisel out a little like hole here, which is where the actual bit goes in, I think these people actually. There you go. Uh, so this is our chop saw, you can change it from any angle, you can do diagonal 45 degree cuts or straight 45 degree gut cuts. It says it all on here, there's a little arrow here that tells you. Uh, it's off at the moment but there's a little light that will show you where the actual cut will be. You just flick that, pull it forward, go straight. As simple as that, gets the job done. Got our batteries here for our impact drills. Oh, charging, you go, I've got different ones with different drills, a bit of scrap wood. Uh, another chop saw in here. Uh, we've got these things here, but we haven't actually used these yet, but these are mostly, so this bit is mostly used for cutting boards. I'm not too sure what the name of it is, but you put big sheets of board and that will cut it. And then this is for when you're just doing repetitive cuts on little bits of uh, timber. Um, and then that's like a, it's kind of like a giant vacuum and it's called a dust extractor and what it does is all these all the power machines here, when you turn it on it will take all the dust off so instead it won't get in your way and causing, you know, difficulties and all that. Uh, that, actually you remember from DT in school, Cairo is cool but that is if you get a square bit of wood and you plop that in there and get a little bit here, it's actually how you make it into a, like a cylinder. So like, more symmetrical, if you're doing like, um, like a little fancy table, if you want fancy little table legs, put a bit of wood in it, get 
get a chisel and you literally go along like that and it carves like into a symmetrical cylinder shape and then you carve your little indents and all that so you get a fancy bit of circular wood so yeah if you want to know where you get circular bits of wood that's where you get it uh, that's pretty much it really our tools are now over here we've got some hack saws here tenon saws are on the other side chisels cleaning stuff Hand saw, I should say, not hack saw. I always say hack saw. Hand saw, yeah. Uh, Tri squares, rulers, levels, and every now and then there's some ear defenders here and safety glasses. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this classroom. Pretty much the same thing in there, but mostly the wood store. So. Oh. This is Jack and Lee on le level two site carpentry. They're currently working on joisting. Um, so this is an example of. Their work, they've just proceeded at the moment. Well, there's about eight, eight different assignments they do. This is one of them. So, um, similar to obviously a smaller version in the house. You know, we're just doing mock ups really, but it's using the same timber you use. Um, so, yeah, it involves quite a lot of using power tools, setting out, and once they've done it, it's got to do a write up on it to explain how they have done it. Like all the things hands on, which we kind of do in uh, secondary school. So it's more fun. More yeah. practical? Yeah. I prefer practical. Yeah, I prefer doing stuff with my hands and that one. Site carpentry joining level 3 diploma. On this assignment, they've got to put a rebate in, a set of double doors. Um, once the rebate's done, using the router, they've got to hang the doors, obviously put the frame in as well. I'm carpentry interesting, that's why I was, I was going to go um, Twickenham to do a carpentry course there but like, most of my friends come here, but yeah, that's why. What do you like about it? What carpentry? Yeah. Um, I just find it interesting, I like building up to things. The, this part of the uh, installation that we we do with the level twos. They need to do uh, like a, a PVC conduit that will be found in uh, more commercial wiring. That's the on the end where they will use single conductors and where they use the PVC conduit. No, not all of them. The immersion meter. The grey one, yes? No. Oh. Alright. Oh. Then what you need to make sure is uh, that okay, then you know the angles are almost right. Yeah, yeah. Then your friend here is going to hold it while it's coming up. Yes? He's going to stand at the bottom there and hold it. And then you're going to make us see if you can remove that clamp. Grab onto it, yeah. Yes. So you need to have a hard one, yes? How high is it going? Test you can line so you see and the switch line. Oh. Don't do it in loop because it's nothing to do. 
switch line and when you test the button if it's continuous you're going to get that but make sure that whatever you say you test that is on all right after you've done this if you're going to test this one and you're going to test that one and you're going to record it yes the next one that you need to do, therefore we do not do the ring circuit for this one, because this is not a ring circuit. Uh, while you've done this one, just go back there, while we've done it, if you switch the switch, and you test it, you will get a reading. That's to test that the live conductors come through the switch. Alright. What you tested, you tested, excellent. What's the next step?